Hey guys, welcome back to Shrishti Tech Academy. You all know how to create and work with lists. You can use any one of these ways to create a list. That is using arrays.as list, list.of or using new keyword with array list or using collection.unmodifiable list. Among this, do you know which one is an immutable list? Which one will not accept null values? Which list cannot be modified? As in which one is an unmodifiable list? In today's video, let us understand what is the difference between an immutable list, unmodifiable list and which method supports to create all this. Let us get started. Okay, guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about these three methods, arrays.asList, collections.unmodifiable list, list.of. Let us understand what is the purpose of these methods, when to use these methods, which method returns an unmodifiable list, which method returns an immutable list, which method will not accept null values. Let us get started. Let us first discuss about arrays.asList method. It takes an array as parameter. Here you can see it is taking varax which is nothing but an array. What is the return type? It returns a fixed size list which is backed by the specified array. It means your array list is a fixed size list just like your array. Now let us create an array and pass that as parameter. String square bracket courses array equal to new string of let me pass the values java angular comma string and i will pass this courses array as parameter so this returns me a fixed size list which is backed by a specified array the array here is courses array if you do any modification in the courses array it will be visible in the list if you do any modification in the list it will be visible in the courses array that is okay fine can I add values to this list? It is not possible. Why? Because it is a fixed size list. Let us try it out. Let me call the method courses.add by passing HTML. Will it give me an error? No. During the compile time it will escape. During the run time it will throw unsupported operation exception. Here you can see the exception has occurred in line number 13. So this means this list is of fixed size. You cannot add new values to the existing list. Can I modify the values? Of course, yes. Now let us try modifying it. I will call the method courses.set. Pass the index. In index 1, I want to change the value from angular to react. Okay. After that, let us try printing the courses also. Okay. Now let me run this. Now the value of angular is changed to react. It means when you use arrays.asList to create a list, it will not allow you to add new values but the list can be modified. So this means it is a modifiable list. What about the array? Here I have done some modification. What will happen to the array? Let us try iterating the array. For each, I am using courses array. Let me take course and print it. Now let me run this. See the output. The changes that you have made in the list is also visible in the array. So this is about arrays.asList. So arrays.asList is a fixed size list which is backed by an array. Whatever changes you do in the array will be visible in the list. Whatever changes you do in the list will be visible in the array. So, it is modifiable. Okay. The next method is collections.unmodifiable list. So, let us try that. The method is collections.unmodifiable list. This also takes a parameter. Let me call the method collections.unmodifiable list. See the return type. It returns an unmodifiable view of the specified list. It means you will get a list where you cannot do any changes. It is a read only view of an existing list. So 
let me add the method now we need to pass a list as parameter either you can use the existing list or we can create a new list let us create a new list list of string names is equal to new array list let me add two names names dot add priya names dot add kevin and we will pass this names as parameter so what it is returning it is returning an unmodifiable view of the specified list the return type is a list which cannot be modified new list is equal to collections dot unmodifiable list let us try adding a element to this list new list dot add tree let us run this we are getting an exception unsupported operation exception in which line line number 28 so you cannot modify this list unmodifiable it is just a view of the specified list so please understand this is only a read only list okay what will happen if i try to add new elements to this existing original list automatically this also will be changed remember you cannot change this one but when there are changes in this names automatically it will be reflected in the new list also why it is a read only copy of your original list now let me add a new name names dot add jacob and let me print the new list let me run this again here we have got the output the new name that was included in the original list also is added to this list so when you use collections dot unmodifiable list it returns a list which is unmodifiable you cannot add or modify the elements of the existing list using this particular list but if you add elements to your original list automatically it will be reflected in the new list why because it is a read only view of the existing list i am having an existing list i just want to return a read only view to the other people means i can go in for collections dot unmodifiable list okay now we will move on to the next method the previous two methods arrays dot ask list and collections dot unmodifiable list were introduced from java 2 but this method list dot off was introduced from java 9 this method returns a list which is immutable it means once you have created means you cannot add elements you cannot modify the elements you cannot remove the elements from this list let us see it let me directly call the method list dot off this also takes var args as parameter you can pass any number of elements you want but once it is created means it becomes immutable you cannot add remove or modify the elements in this particular list see here returns an unmodifiable list but remember this one is unmodifiable and also immutable you cannot add elements and also you cannot modify the elements okay let us choose this method which takes three parameters let me pass three values the return type is a list which is immutable vehicles equal to so this is an unmodifiable list as well as it is immutable you cannot add remove or modify the elements of this list cannot add remove or modify the elements of the list let us try adding vehicles dot add by passing a value unsupported operation exception in which line line number 36 okay so this is not allowed let me try modifying the value vehicles dot set 1 comma deep let me run this again unsupported operation exception 
even here also you can try modifying the elements in the new list it will not allow it will throw an exception new list dot set one comma raju now i will get an exception in this line only in which line line number 29 so in case of collections dot unmodifiable is just a read only view of the existing list in case of list dot off it returns an unmodifiable list and also it is immutable you cannot add remove or modify the elements of this existing list now let us try printing the list vehicles it will not allow me to change the value we have not checked it i think yeah it's not allowing and commenting this now let me run it okay now what about null value which method will not accept null value let us check it out one by one so for the first method i am including null to the array this array is passed as parameter to arrays dot as list method for the second method also let me add null names dot add null okay this null will be passed to this collections dot unmodifiable list let us see what will happen and also for the third one i am trying to add null let me run this this is the output the first one is from arrays dot as list it is accepting null value this is our array so you leave it the second one collections dot unmodifiable list this also is accepting null value what about the third method list dot off it is not accepting null value it is throwing me an exception in which line line number 38 so this means the list that is returned by list dot off is completely immutable you cannot add remove modify the elements in this list and also it will not accept null values i hope it is clear when to use what use arrays dot as list when you want to perform some processing on the existing list because arrays dot as list allows to do modification use collections dot unmodifiable list whenever you want to provide a read only view of the existing list as in i am having the salary details of the existing employees i can convert it into an unmodifiable list and show the read only view just for viewing purpose the last one is list dot off use this when you want to create an immutable list where you don't want others to add remove or modify the existing elements this can be used in case of configuration details in case if you want to set the http response codes okay guys i hope it is clear if you are having any topics to be discussed in java please share it in the comments i'll be really happy to create a video on that and explain it to you let us code learn and grow together thank you